So with season two of My Adventures with Superman finally wrapped up, it's time to talk about it. So let's get into it. So yes, today we're going to be talking about My Adventures with Superman, the animated series. That's not part of the James Gunn DCU, it's a completely separate thing. Season 2 just wrapped up with episode 10. And honestly, I reviewed season 1, calling it a masterpiece. I really enjoyed season 1, and season 2 just gets better. So before we dive into the review, if you're new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said, I've reviewed season 1 of, of My Adventures with Superman. I, I do a whole bunch of reviews when it comes to movie, TV, do weekly entertainment news videos, all that kind of stuff. So if you like those types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button smash the like button just all of that youtube stuff and also keep an eye out too because with deadpool and wolverine coming out later on this week i'm going to be doing a tier ranking for all the fox x-men movies with deadpool and wolverine included so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that one but when it comes to this video with season two this is going to be non-spoilers so if you haven't seen the show won't give out spoilers or anything like that but i do honestly highly highly recommend this show because for me this is what superman is about not only do we dive into like the story and the human aspect of Clark Kent, but just everything that this story is building upon in season two, I think was handled so well. But obviously we talk about the voice casting, the animation, that on its own is top tier level. Like the animation looks crisp, looks amazing. The voice casting, you got the three standouts with Clark Kent, Superman, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen, but with Jack Quaid voicing Superman, I think he does a fantastic job. Alice Lee and Ishmael Sahid, apologies for butcher those names, them voicing for Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane, also brings such standouts. So the voice casting overall and also the villain of season two I think was absolutely amazing. He's being voiced by Michael Emerson so I won't give out exactly who the villain is of the season but I'm just a huge fan of Michael Emerson with him in Fallout. I'm a huge fan of him in Lost so whenever he's involved I'm always excited to check him out and he does an incredible job as a villain of this series but just overall when it comes to just like the minor things like I said the animation style, the voice casting, just all of the behind the scenes stuff it's just handled so well but when it comes to the actual show itself I really am intrigued with like the dynamic between the three main characters of Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane and Clark Kent you've got that relationship building up after season one with Lois Lane and Clark Kent you get that great dynamic and you don't get like the annoying aspects of like the typical Clark Kent, Lois Lane relationship aspects. You get a great dynamic with Jimmy Olsen and Clark Kent in there. So the balance between him as Clark Kent with the balance of him as Superman just works really well. And like I mentioned earlier, you do get a lot of great moments when it comes to him balancing his human life versus his superhero life, especially how it's being portrayed with the rest of the world. I think the writing for that is just brilliantly written for how everybody's viewing Superman in the world because of the characters that you're being introduced again no spoilers but with the characters that are being introduced in terms of like the villainous side of things here what they're adding to it what they're proposing in terms of how humans are viewing Superman is really working well with what Superman is going through what Clark Kent is going through especially after the events of season one and not only that the villain aspects because you've got a variety of different villains of course you've got the big bad villain that takes place towards like the latter half of the season but then towards like the first part of season two with the other villains being involved I just love what they're bringing like obviously no spoilers but you do know that Amanda Waller is being involved in the show of course like what happened with season one so she's definitely involved you see her in the trailers too so that's not really a spoiler but she is brilliantly ruthless you get the typical Amanda Waller vibe of a character and what she's bringing into the table like especially I believe it was episode two in which that whole storyline I think was honestly one of the better part of the episodes in the first five episodes because you've got different tones with you've got the first five episodes in terms of it's more of a lighter tone but then the last five episodes my god they just go from zero to 100 but the villains that are being involved in the first half of the season really great villains like you really enjoy watching superman take on these villains you really enjoy the time spent with these characters so that you're more invested with them and that's what i really enjoy about the show the characters you're really invested in rooting for whether it's the good guys whether it's the bad guys do you just get that time with them and even the whole lois lane family dynamic like you've got general lane you've got lois lane you get a bit of flashbacks like there's one episode 
dedicated to Lois Lane and her father, which I think was handled really well. I'm loving the whole flashbacks. Like normally with Lois Lane, you focus on like the journalism aspects, but with this, you really focus in on her flashbacks, on her story in terms of where she started to where she ends up, why she is what she is. And the whole aspect with her, like the father daughter dynamic, I just really enjoyed that aspect of it, which like I said, because they take the time to invest with these characters, it works well with the show. And then of course, like I said, because it's more of a lighter tone with the first five episodes, of course, a lot of things happen, which doesn't mean that the storyline isn't really good with the first five episodes, but the first five episodes are more of a lighter tone because once you get introduced, and again, this isn't spoilers because it's showing in the trailer, once you get introduced to Kara, Superman's cousin, that's when things just take a huge turn and it goes, like I said, from zero to 100 because I was not expecting what they did with Kara. Like what they show in the trailer is nothing compared to what you see on the show. No spoilers, but keep an eye out on episode eight, nine, and 10 because those three episodes like that building up to the finale was amazing writing, incredible storytelling. And just like I said, amazing voice work with these casts like they bring these characters to life with the casting and the person who voiced Supergirl Kaina Madeira I apologize if I butchered that name really elevates that role as well so the whole dynamic with the latter half of the season from going with the introduction to Kara and then that just escalating and escalating even further really focusing in on the relationship between Lois Lane and Superman and just everything that's going on when it comes to Superman and what the situation is with his relationship with planet earth and then the big bad villain of the whole season just all of that worked so well the building up it hints a little bit towards like the first half of the season but then like i said once it starts really honing in on the plot of the latter half of the season of season two and the big bad villain it just goes from like a seven out of ten to honestly like a ten out of ten and i may be overhyping this i may be in the minority i honestly don't even know but i really was a fan of this season i do think it's an improvement from season one while season one i called it a masterpiece and with that term i do think it gets thrown around a lot and i try not to overuse it too much this one i do think it's a bit of an improvement with season two just because in terms of the ongoing plot threads that are happening throughout the season and then escalating and what's going on with how everything gets tied together from characters to the setting of Metropolis to the fight sequences to just the dialogue everything works really really well that I genuinely believe this is a show you need to see you need to check out if you haven't already because of everything that worked with the show I really don't have a lot of negatives I was trying to find some nitpicks and things that I could find about this season but I genuinely could not find too much that I disliked about this season because of how everything worked with the story with the characters with the development of the personalities involved in the season so yeah I really really was a huge fan of this season and they did confirm that season three is going to be coming out so I'm so pumped about that because while this is a part of a whole DC universe with James Gunn I'm hoping that they continue this and that it doesn't end after season three I hope that we get more seasons because the writing for this is incredible and I enjoy this show so if you've seen the show let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you haven't seen the show honestly check it out highly highly recommend but let me know your thoughts of everything in the comment section down below again if you're new to the channel do consider hitting that subscribe button and keep an eye out because again we're going to be doing like tier ranking for all the X-Men movies plus a review for Deadpool and Wolverine spoiler reviews most likely so definitely subscribe to not miss out on that but thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for listening this is my review Peace.